Hi DIY friends, today it is all about checking out the brand new finds at Dollar Tree. Not only have I tested these items, I've also got some great hacks and also DIYs of how to use these brand new products. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I wanna welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. And I also wanna thank Care Of for sponsoring today's video. I have been pretty selective of the items that I have been purchasing from Dollar Tree lately because of their price increase. So I wanted to make sure that I was showing you some of the best bargain items as well as some of the best quality products. And it is still so much fun to be able to create and DIY with some of these items so that you can still get a high-end look while still staying on a budget. So first up, some of the best quality products that I feel like are definitely still a bargain at Dollar Tree include these gel pens. They come in a pack of eight. And if you grew up in the 90s like I did, then you know all about Jelly Roll pens, which are basically really nice gel pens. You can still purchase them at Michael's, but they are $1.99 each. So this pack of eight for $1.25 is a huge bargain and a deal. And I did test these out. Definitely great pens and worth the money. Ribbon is another product that I love keeping my eye out for at Dollar Tree because it's a great deal. Usually I keep my eye out for the burlap ribbon. I love that stuff. I also love their seasonal, but they have a brand new ribbon out in the baby section. So even though they have a lot of baby prints and themes, you can also find some kind of general prints like this plaid and also polka dot that would work any time of year. So these ribbons in particular are nine feet each and they also have the wire edges, which makes it easier to create bows with. If you live in the South or in the Midwest, and I'm sure there's other areas too, you have to deal with mosquitoes. We definitely have a big mosquito problem here where I live. So I found these great citronella incense sticks. They're a pack of six and you basically light them and they're supposed to help against mosquitoes. Now we are a little bit early in the season yet, so I can't test them to see if it actually helps with mosquitoes, hoping that they will, but I do have a fun DIY to share with you to help you use these incense sticks. So I thought it'd be fun to create a incense stick holder. If you can find this, Dollar Tree has air dry clay you can grab, but if not, other stores have air dry clay as well. I'll link this one that I'm using down in the description box below. I like this kind a little bit better. It seems to be a better quality air dry clay. It doesn't dry out quite so quickly and it's also white, so you can even paint it a different color if you want. And to use this type of clay, you wanna knead it until it is warmed up and soft and pliable. And then what we're going to do is take it, roll it into a ball, and then roll it out flat with a wooden rolling pin. Then I'm going to take this bucket. I would say it's probably about four to five inches in diameter. And we're going to cut all the way around this, basically using it as a template. And then we're going to remove all the excess clay from around the edges. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to make a little bowl, a scalloped bowl or dish for our incense stick to sit down into and that way as the incense is burning down any of the ashes will kind of collect in this dish and so this is kind of step one I'm using a foam paintbrush to help me create those scallops around the edges and then I'm also going to take another little small piece of clay roll that into a ball and I'm going to put that right down there in the center and kind of make it flat on the bottom a little bit more pointy on the top push that into the middle so it'll stay for us and then it'll dry as one big piece. But before we get done with this, we are gonna take our incense stick and we're gonna poke a hole into that ball. That way, once it's dry, we'll be able to stick the incense down into the clay and it will sit up for us. So I did let this sit overnight so it dried for about 18 to 24 hours before taking it outside and you can just light your incense stick. If it catches on fire, you want to blow that flame out because it will just kind of calmly 
create smoke and that is kind of the idea of these to create that smoke within which then creates that citronella smell which then keeps those mosquitoes away so you may even want to make a couple of these dishes that way you can put them in different areas to really cut down on the mosquitoes in my last Dollar Tree haul video I showed you that Dollar Tree has lots of different pill box options where they use them for your medications your vitamins or as a storage solution. Some of you said some are good, some are not so good. So thank you for those tips and tricks, but I have an even easier way for you to get your daily vitamins with Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins to your front door every month. It's so easy to get started with a short in-depth quiz about your health goals, and it gives you personalized recommendations based on your answers. I have taken daily vitamins for years now, but have only been trying Care Of vitamins for about a month, and I am loving it so far. I love that I will never run out since they are conveniently delivered to my front door every single month. I take nine vitamins with Care Of, and the B complex is for stress, the iron is for energy, and those are so super helpful. I love that they are made from clean ingredients. They help me to keep up with my health goals. And if my goals ever change, then I can just go ahead and retake the quiz and that will all get updated. I like to keep my vitamins in the kitchen so that I remember to take them every day with a tall glass of water. Visit the link in the description box to take the quiz and find out what's recommended for you. Use my code DAILYDIY for 50% off your first order. You guys know I love organization. I have a full playlist of organization hacks if you wanna check that out. So when I found this item at Dollar Tree, grabbed this, I wish I would've grabbed one more and I hope that I can find it another one because I have a fun hack I found on Pinterest of how you can use these. Now it's basically a garden tool hanger so you can put it on the wall this way, well, this way so you can put your garden tools in here and it even has a hook in the middle there so that you can hang other garden tools from but i actually saw where you can turn these on the side like this and put them on the wall so that you can suspend your tools so they're not hanging down so that's a good fun hack to try and at a dollar 25 i feel like this is a really great bargain find for an organization item as far as the crafting section goes, I found some really neat new iron-ons. So whenever you think of iron-ons, of course you think ironing them onto fabric, right? But did you know you can actually iron them onto wood as well? So let me share with you this fun Dollar Tree DIY. So this is a really easy process. We're gonna be pairing this iron on with one of these wood shelves from Dollar Tree. It comes with a pack of two pieces of wood, some rope, and also a metal ring. We're gonna be using those, so keep those handy. I did sand down the wood first, made sure to clean that off really well. The iron on does come with some instructions which are helpful and handy. We're gonna take our iron on and lay it on our clean piece of wood, cover that with a flour sack towel, and then iron it on. I'm using my easy press for this, but you can use a regular iron too. Just set it on a cotton high setting, 400 degrees. I ironed it for 30 seconds, two times before letting it cool and then peeling off that plastic cover. And you can see here, it is nicely transferred. Definitely wouldn't scratch at it, but it is on the wood permanently now. Now we're gonna take that rope and also that metal ring and loop it on there. We're basically making a really pretty hanging wood sign. So I put some tape on the end of that rope, fed it through the holes that are already in the wood, and then made sure to do that on both sides. Also made sure everything was level and even, and then tied knots in the end of both of those ropes. So I love this project because it's basically no mess and you can actually make two signs if you pick up two iron-ons out of one of those wood shelf kits. So you can make a really pretty set too or make two for gifts. And the other amazing thing that I found in the crafting section at Dollar Tree are these brand new 
wooden bamboo hoops. They come in a pack of two and in two different sizes. So I grabbed four packs of these. I wanna show you how easy it is to create two garden orbs using these and they look really, really realistic, almost like a real metal. So let's get straight into that DIY. So again, I picked up four packs. You're gonna get four rings in those two sizes. So we can make two orbs out of four packs. $5 for two garden orbs is a pretty good deal. So we're gonna be going for a rod iron style look. So I used my black chalk paint, covered the inside, outsides, and both edges of all of the rings. One more small detail is I thought it'd be pretty to add a little finial onto the top of each one. So these are wood beads, but they actually are flat on the bottom. And if I can find them, I will link these down in the description box below too. So I painted two of those black as well. Now to put these together, we're literally gonna take three of them, put them inside of each other to make a sphere. And then we're gonna take the last one on top and do it the opposite way. That way it keeps everything nice and contained in the center. At this point, if you want, you can add some hot glue in there to really keep them together, but they're pretty tightly uh, together in there. So I really didn't feel like I needed to. So these are just gonna stay the way they are, but I did hot glue that wood bead right onto the top. So I did that with both of them. You can see the smaller orb here and also the bigger one on the shelf above. These would be really pretty outside too. Just make sure you extra clear coat them and seal them before they go outside and keep them in a covered area. But I really like the way these look inside on my shelves too. So if you have a little one, you've probably heard of Poppets. My son is almost nine years old and he loves these things. Our Dollar Tree finally started getting in some fun ones and he picked up this bracelet. He's letting me borrow it for this video and then it's going straight to him. But I thought this was fun because you can actually put it on your little one's wrist and then they have it to take with them and it doesn't get lost or dropped. They also had some other really fun ones and I thought that was such a great deal as you can find these in other department stores for much more than $1.25. I was also shocked to find name brand board games at Dollar Tree, including Battleships, Monopoly, and more. These would be something great to grab for an inexpensive family fun night. So segue off of the kids' toys. It's almost like a fun gadget toy for adults. It's a six in one stylus pen. Can you believe that there are six different tools and gadgets in this one little pen? This one specifically has a pen, a stylus on the end, it has a ruler, a level, which I find really, really important. There's lots of DIY projects that I do that I need a level for. So it's actually all built into this pen. There's also a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver in this one little thing. So I thought that was such a great find, something you can easily throw into your purse or add to your craft stash. Now you guys are gonna have to give me your thoughts and ideas on how to use these. I've seen the traditional wire kind of curly decorative trellises that Dollar Tree carries, but this was new to me. They are climbing vine trellises. They're plastic instead of metal and they come in a pack of two. So I just picked up one pack because I'm really not sure other than a trellis what to use these for, but I know you guys are so, so creative. So I would love to hear your ideas. Leave them in the comments below. Now, speaking of gardens, I also found some great new sort of picket fence style wood pieces. I grabbed four of those and I wanna show you how easy it is to make a simple springtime planter. This project could not be more simple or easy. We do need to do a little bit of prep though. Cut off the jute handles that they come on and take the stickers off. Before coming in with some white chalk paint, make sure to get down into all of those cracks and crevices. Also, you'll want to flip these over and get the back side because you'll kind of see through this planter. You want to make sure you get all of the corners and everything in case they're visible. Then we're going to come in with some hot glue and glue those corners together, creating a box. This is so quick and easy and turns out so cute. I'm gonna show you one idea is basically just putting a potted plant inside here as a cute planter, but you could also add moss inside here, add some Easter eggs or an Easter bunny, give it an even more seasonal and springy look. 
I love the Dollar Tree is carrying all these great wooden pieces. They even have these wood squares. They're about four inches square. I love these. They're like the perfect size to make small decorative pieces, wood signs, that kind of thing. But I have an even better idea for you. So let's jump into that DIY now. So we're gonna need two of these wooden pieces to kind of beef it up because we're gonna make a beautiful and high-end looking raised tray. So I'm gonna use a combination of wood glue, which you can also find at Dollar Tree, and also some hot glue. That's what's really gonna give this tray some stability and keep it together for us as we're working on it. So just make sure you add a lot of pressure. Let that sit for a second before moving on to the next step. We're gonna be using these half wood beads. These are really pretty and decorative. These are gonna go all the way around the edges of our tray. I used seven on each one. So I'd add one on each end, one in the middle, and then two in between those to really make sure I had them evenly spaced out. And then came in with some hot glue and added a dab underneath each one of those beads going all the way around the outside of the wood squares. And again, I will make sure to link these wood beads down in the description box below to make them easy to find if you wanna recreate this project too. This is a beautiful look so far, but we're not quite done yet, but you can see how we have those beads all the way around the edges, kind of covering up the seam between the wood squares. Now, again, we're gonna pull out those same beads that we used in the garden orbs DIY, but they have the flat bottoms on them. They make the perfect little feet for projects and raised trays like this one. So I'm adding one to each one of the corners. And then I really love the wood look, but I wanted it to have more of a whitewash look. So I'm using a combination of some white acrylic paint and a little bit of water all mixed together so it gets watered down. And then just took a paintbrush and did one quick coat of paint with water onto all of the surfaces. So this is a very quick and easy project. You can see how pretty it is after it's all dried. You can use this in your kitchen on a shelf like I'm showing you here in an entryway to kind of add a candle. It'd be pretty on a coffee table too, but I love this. This is definitely something I'll be keeping around and using for years to come. These are also a great find in Dollar Tree's spring and gardening section. They are LED lanterns. They came in a few different colors. What I really love about these though is the tea light actually, <laughs> you can pop it right out of the bottom, which makes it easy for you to then DIY the actual lantern. So you can spray paint it now. You could even add a liner in here so you can diffuse the light and then easily pop your tea light right back in to the bottom. It also comes with a great little ring on the top to make it easy to hang. So maybe gardening isn't your thing, but what about a sand garden? Yep, Dollar Tree carries these too. I thought this was really, really fun. It comes with a tray, sand, rocks, and even a little wooden rake. It's just kind of a fun project, maybe a sensory thing for a little one, or if you have this style or theme, maybe you wanna add it to your own little garden. Just something fun to do. Definitely a good deal on something like this and something different if you don't have a green thumb like I do. So Dollar Tree doesn't really have a whole lot of summer items out yet. I've seen some outdoor toys, I've seen their pool noodles, but I know they're gonna be getting out a lot more here soon, but I'm still always looking for things that could be used for a different season, even if it's not the current season. And what I mean by that is I actually found these seashell Easter eggs. Yep, they're in their Easter section. Really pretty opal kind of iridescent look to them. And then also over in their kitchen supplies, a seashell drink bottle. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a candle holder with this or something and just keeping these on hand for some upcoming summer DIYs. So make sure you subscribe so you can come back and not miss any of those. And then along the same lines of summertime, I found some cute 4th of July items. They had some garden stakes and they also had these hangers. Is that not so cute? 
a red truck with a flag in it. God bless America on the top. So that'll be coming a DIY project. I also found a red planter, which gave me that 4th of July vibe. So those are two things that'll be coming up very soon. And then let's go out with a bang, sorta kinda. This is a new item that I've never seen before. They are gender reveal poppers and they don't pop. They're actually, they have nothing in them to make them pop. They're basically a shaker. So me and my son had so much fun trying these out. They're basically a tube with some confetti in them and you shake them and they go everywhere. So it's a safe popper. And me and my son had super amount of fun playing with those, trying those out. So if you see those, grab them, whether it's for a gender reveal, for a birthday party, for a celebration, or just for fun. I would love to hear which project or which product was your favorite in today's video. Let me know down in the comments below. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll have more DIYs and hack videos popping up on your screen you can check out next. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.